Several local first responders are more prepared for emergencies thanks to a donation today. News on 6's Michaela Glenn tells us how bleed control kits can help save lives. Responders are called to critical situations daily, and having one of these kits on hand can not only help victims, but first responders as well. That's why these are so much better. Project Tribute Foundation is a local nonprofit that was created back in 2021. John Beckloff, founder of Project Tribute Foundation, says they support first responders by providing them life-saving training, equipment, tools, and support. They have raised money and received donations since they were founded and recently received a new donation. We had a donation of $22,000 from the Lion Foundation, and what it is for is to buy these bleed kits. Is that this this year? Okay. Beckloff says his organization was able to buy 500 kits with the donation. The bleeding control kits comes with a tourniquet, gauze, gloves, trauma shears, trauma dressing, and a survival blanket. And they're for every first responder in Osage County, Nowata County, and Washington County. So we have pickups such as today. So here's about $7,000 worth of, of kits. He says the goal is to supply smaller agencies with the equipment they need. Pickups were made at Project Tribute, the Nowata Firehouse, and Osage County Sheriff's Office. James Smith, a Bartersville paramedic, says he's thankful for Project Tribute's support. It benefits us greatly because if we get injured, we can use this kit on ourselves, or we can use it for the patients that we treat in the back of the ambulance. The items in the kits help give more time for someone who's been injured. Beckloff says seven lives have been saved from using this kit. If you have a, an on-the-job injury and you, you lose a limb, for example, or you're shot, something where you have a large blood loss event, these kits allow you to, a first responder to arrive and they can stop the bleeding through the tourniquet, through the gauze. Through Project Tribute said they'll replace these kits anytime after being used. In Bartersville, Michaela Glenn, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.